Hey guys, it's Kenny here from Blitz Radio. Today I've got Zach and Billy, who are Hockey Dad, here in the studio with me today. How are you guys? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. Yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm a bit sweaty, a bit hot today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's kick this off. Um, the first question I have for you guys, um, not, not an actual question, but do you guys keep your tomato sauce in the fridge or the cupboard? Oh, that's cupboard. a specific I'm a cupboard guy. guy. You're a fridge guy, are you? Yeah, we're that's a fridge weird. guy. I'm, well, I'm a fridge guy as well. Uh, why, why do you keep it in the cupboard? Well, yeah, I think fridge is good because, like, it's got that, I don't know, I, I like it cold. Yeah, I know. Especially in, like, pies and shit, even yeah. though I don't really eat pies anymore, but still. I mean, on the back it says uh, refrigerate after open. I think it ruins the consistency of it. I think it makes it too, like, Does it make thick? it watery? Makes it, no, it makes it, like, like a, a little bit thicker. I don't know, it's like... Not, no, no, it's good. That's tough. Eh? That's a good. This is, this is a massive debate that Cup I have with my friends, yeah. and like we always argue <laughs> about it. <laughs> that's like that's huge. What about peanut butter though? That's covered. Covered, obviously. Who puts that in the fridge? Yeah, yeah. covered. No, it's too hard when it gets in the fridge. Animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna kick off with my first actual question. All right. Um, my favorite song and music video of yours is "I Need a Woman." Um, mm-hmm. Now that was a tribute to your childhood and yeah. your hometown, right? What was it like growing up in the Gong? Well, we kind of, that little town that we filmed it in, we're a little bit south of Wollongong, which oh, is okay. in Windang. Windang, yeah. Yeah, and that's like a one-horse town. I think, how many people? Like 2,000 or something? No, a bit more than that. A bit more? Like 5,000 maybe. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it shot up. Anyway, yeah, so that's like pretty much how we spent that's just how we grew up, just doing that. I think we still do it most days. Okay. Yeah. And so, I think yeah. I, I think I read online somewhere that you guys met while one of you were playing cricket or something. Yeah. Was that you, Billy? Yeah, well, I, I was out the front. Um, it was either cricket or footy. I think it was footy. Maybe footy. Out the front, just, like, with my old man. And then, like, Zach lives, like, three doors down or whatever. So he's just like... <laughs> Oh, so you guys were basically neighbours? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, oh, so he's okay. like, and he, yeah, oh. and then he, he must have just walked past and then he's like, can I play? And, yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. one was when you guys were five years old, about five. I was, yeah, I was, like, I was like four or five, because it was before I started primary school, so I was like four. He would have been six. Yeah, I think he like just started. Just started yeah, or just so. before. I don't know. Mm. Okay. All it's right. easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving on, I, I remember the first time I saw you guys perform, which was at the Lair in 2014, oh. supporting um, Millions and Japanese oh, wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think there was Flower Truck and Dr. Spaceman as well. Yeah. 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 Those great bands. Really good bands. Yeah. What I clearly remember, though, was a whole bunch of people jumping onto the stage while you guys were performing. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah, um, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, but I remember like looking at Zach's face. I'm like, is he going to keep on playing or is he going to stop? It was really hard to keep playing. Yeah, but you, you kept your composure. You kept on singing like... Yeah. Kept on going. It was hard when they started like hitting the drums for me too. That was really. Oh, well, they actually hit the drum set. Mm. Everyone started stepping on my pedals as well. That would have been yeah, so like, annoying. Pushing me off, like I was getting pushed off the stage, <laughs> so I was trying to like stand still over the top of my pedals and yeah. sing. And then I looked back, but I couldn't see Billy at all, so I mean, it was hard. I'm glad that you guys actually remember that because like that was yeah. the first time I discovered you guys. Yeah, that was oh, yeah. fun. That it's was a good to, show. It's hard to forget something like that. <laughs> Tragedy yeah. like that. <laughs> but um, the question I have for you is, um, what's one of the craziest experiences you've had as a band while touring, other than the lair? <laughs> um, if anything comes into mind. What, did, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we missed a flight the other day. Oh, yeah, first really? Thing that was, that was that. yeah. Where was that too? It was back, coming back here yeah. from Melbourne. Oh, okay. Oh, um, after your, um, your show yeah. in Melbourne, yeah. right? How's that? Was that? that was what's good. the crowd like compared to Sydney? Well, it was a sold out show, so it was, we had it okay. lucky, which is like you don't have pretty to worry good. About it, yeah, yeah okay. but like the whole stereotype of Melbourne is that they're a bit more stand still. Yeah, oh, Melbourne okay. don't like, doesn't like to dance or anything as much. They kind of like just like to watch. Like yeah. So you're saying that we're a bit like rowdier? Yeah, Sydney's yeah. a bit... Like, we know how to party so. more. Yeah. A bit more Probably. alcohol fueled, I think. But. That's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and a long, a long way from playing at the Lair, you guys have just recently finished um, touring in the US. Yep. Yeah. Could you tell me about what the experience was like? That was uh, your first, first tour in the US, right? We um, did. Was that, like, our second sort one. of, like second, okay. second yeah. time there, but it was like the first time we just played at CMJ in New York. Yeah. But this time we played South by Southwest and then we did a couple of other shows, like just our shows, so it was like sort of like more of a yeah, thing. Yeah, that was like our first proper okay. tour, yeah. I guess. Oh, awesome. But yeah, it was good. What it was, was the fan base like, the US fan base? I mean, it would have been a lot different to Australia, wouldn't it? Yeah. It was a lot smaller, yeah. actually. Uh, a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was good, though. There was some, like... They're like, it may have been smaller, but they were way more dedicated. There was actually like, still people there, which was surprising. Driving hours to see us and stuff, which is oh, sick. insane, yeah. yeah. And there was a lot of people at South By, too. They're like little new fans because right. they saw us there. and Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Cool. All right. Um, I want to show you guys um, a photo from back at the lair. <laughs> um, Back in, I think it was December 2014. It's, it's not embarrassing yeah. or anything, but it's just on Insta. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, my friend posted it. Um, 2014. That was a long time ago. It was ago. Ago, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's... You can't really see was... Billy in it, but you see <laughs> Zach, I guess. Like, <laughs> there you go. And if you go into the comments... Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay, hang on. Comments. Oh, what's, what did I say? It's like... Oh, I love her. Just put some love hearts. Yeah. And then someone was, you like, should have been the headliner. And that was me. Hopefully yeah. one day we'll be cool enough. <laughs> Hopefully one day you'll be cool enough. <laughs> yeah. We, we, now, yeah. Now in 2016, <laughs> you guys were cool enough to cool have been enough. one of the headline acts at Sure Shot. Yeah. yeah. And on top of this, you guys are playing at Groove in, at, in Canberra alongside mm. some massive acts. Like yeah. Like Boyne Bear, British India... To Rubens. Daddy Brown will be scared. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see him. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. As you guys are getting <laughs> As you guys yeah. are getting bigger and more popular, like what are your dreams for Hockey Dad? What do you say like in a few years down the track? My dreams. Do you have any goals for the band? You just want to inter- internationally tour? Pretty like uh, I guess tour a lot. Overseas and stuff would be cool. We just booked like Europe only like oh, the awesome. other day. We still haven't booked flights, but yeah, yeah that's really last minute, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anyone that you'd like to tour with or even like collab with, collaborate with? Um, Matt, I think I like read to... somewhere that um, you guys said Alex Turner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. I think, yeah. yeah. Been a while ago. I think for your benefit, you should probably <laughs> do that. What about you, Billy? I don't know, there's probably heaps of people that I can't think of them right now. And I feel, like if, I, I feel like if I said it, it would be like, people would be like, like try and hit him up or something. It would be <laughs> weird. <laughs> Playing a show of like, like, Alex and like Artie Monkeys, that would be cool. Mm. Just to see him. I don't really mind shred. anymore. How about Just Splendor? Is... Splendor. Yeah. Are, you, Splendor are you guys heading nice. to Splendor? I don't know yet. I think I'm going to have no money by then, yeah. so I probably can't go. <laughs> I've got no money now, so I don't think I have any there either. Yeah. <laughs> so but you guys would, like, know people. You guys yeah. would know people. But it's like, like, probably get in. <laughs> it's like petrol and... Yeah, it's like getting in is the least of your worries. you got to pay for your food and... Accommodation and stuff. All that stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. Camping and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, and that'll Expensive. be just before we go back to America, so that'll be... Oh, so you're heading back to America this year? Yeah, in August. Oh, awesome. For a tour? Another yeah. tour? Yeah. Like a bigger tour. So that'll be oh, okay. for our album around okay. the same time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, speaking of your album, Baronia, yeah. um, named after the street you guys grew up, grew up in. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The street where you met him playing cricket. Pretty much. <laughs> still there. Yeah, still live there. <laughs> All right. Uh, what I want to ask is, how did this, how's this different from putting together your Dream and EP? Like, sound wise and stuff well oh there's like there's a bit more um, like the song the ideas of the songs are like sort of it's the same almost the same vibe but um yeah there's a lot more going on there's a lot more instruments and stuff we like for their dream and ep we just played and then i just overdubbed some guitars and then did vocals but this record actually has bass guitar on it like an actual bass Oh, yeah. okay. and some more guitars and like some keys and stuff and 
Just some not heaps. Not and stuff, like it's not like, crazy. It's not a crazy departure or anything. Yeah. Because usually it's just you and lead guitar and you on drums, right? Yeah. 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 But this one he has bass. But key. I mean, some songs will have like six instruments going at once. Uh, <laughs> Sounds yeah. probably a bad idea. Yeah. Well, it's kind of we kind of just wanted to. Well, when we recorded with Tom, it sounded a bit cleaner, which is cool. But I think like. We did make it sound as gritty as we could, even though it does sound a bit cleaner to what we're used to. So okay. it's a good mix. Like, yeah, it's we're like happy there's, with it's it. like heavier in some parts, but then it's softer in other parts as well. Yeah, it which, like covers more, covers a wider variety of sounds. Yeah, and like moods. All right, than the because every song it was just like one gear, maybe I don't know. Yeah, do you one think it represents gears. your sound right now? As a band? Well, yeah. I suppose. I mean, I guess it has to, doesn't it? Yeah. It's Otherwise. like, it's still, like we, we like we wrote all of the songs in Zach's shed. So it's like, it's, oh, good. Yeah. it's not like we wrote them in the studio, like <laughs> high, heaps high tech and like. Yeah, yeah was, all those songs not. were still just like at home and then we just. It was pretty much just making them sound a bit <laughs> prettier, maybe. Like, just so every song doesn't sound the same. Because oh, okay. we didn't really want a record that's just like. Plain Jane, I guess. But yeah. We spice it up as much as we could. And um, I had a look at the track listing. I saw that seaweed wasn't included in it. Was, nah. Is there any reason why? Couldn't. Nah. Well, it was already on the EP, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I Need a Woman, that that was on the EP already. So. Yeah, that's we what... We didn't even want that on we there. We didn't really want it on there. <laughs> record labels make you do crazy things sometimes when you win your money, so... <laughs> yeah. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Yeah. And um, I want to talk about the artwork as well the album artwork what's the inspiration behind that oh yeah that was pretty much it's a photo of my niece that i took (laughs) okay like how many years ago like 2012 so that's like like what is it four Four years years, ago four years yeah (laughs) so it was a long time ago and i kind of just looked at it and i was like yeah it's a sick photo i'm gonna save that for something oh awesome. and then that happened so I, I first thought yeah. like it might have been a picture of like young Billy, yeah. <laughs> like a younger version of you. It does look like me. Yeah. Right. Is that like, is there any inspiration such as like maybe Nirvana, their, their album yeah. artwork? Yeah, I kind of juiced it a little, yeah. but yeah, it, it didn't really, I wasn't like out there to try to jip him. I think yeah. it's just like, oh, it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, especially like the white sand and stuff. Actually, there's a cold chisel cover. That looks, it's like taken on the same beach. Oh, it's like what beach is cover. it? It's, um, you see a shark bay in WA, um, like oh, Esperance okay. and stuff. I can't remember the name, but it's a good beach. Yeah, the, just, the sand is really white. I yeah. thought it was snow at first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a good pool, yeah. There's a lot of random beaches in WA where it's like red, <clears throat> red desert, and then it just hits like glowing white sand. Like it's fucking insane. <laughs> So nuts, but... Have you guys toured out in Western Australia yet? We have... Yeah, we've been there a couple of times, just on, like, other people's tours and stuff. Yeah. Oh, supporting. We haven't done, like, a headline tour yet. Oh, okay. But it's, we... been, it's always fun over there. Yeah, it's yeah. good. All right. Yeah. All right, and um, I've actually just got one more question, just mm. to uh, finish off. Um, other than your album, what do you guys have in store for the rest of 2016? I mean, you talked about your US tour... Is that going to be all around the US? Pretty much. How yeah. many shows are you doing? Probably like 40. 40 G's. It's a, it's a 30 minimum. 30 we minimum. We signed off. We had to do oh, okay. Yeah. Is that over the space of one month or two? I think it's two. one and a half. One and a half. Because then we got to come back and do an Australian tour. So. Yeah, oh, that, okay. That'll be like yeah. September. September. So you September guys are going to be pretty busy. Yeah. 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 You guys have but, a, have been pretty busy since like 2014 since yeah. I first discovered you guys. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> we got, I don't know, we've got this Europe, UK thing happening. Then we got a month off in July. And then after that, it's pretty much all the way to flat out. Yeah. Next year. Oh, yeah. And then pretty keep much. going again and do it all again. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're starting to write the second album. But. Oh, so don't worry about that. Just, <laughs> yeah. first out and just do that first before you worry about the second one. Yeah, that's no point. A long time ago. Away. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. That's a wrap then. That's all the questions I've Sweet. got today. 
Thanks. Nah, yeah. thanks right, thank you for coming in. <laughs> Get some burgers or something.